Hi, I'm Peter Larangis. I'm the author of book three of the 39 Clues series, The Sword Thief, and book seven, The Viper's Nest. Hi, I'm Jude Watson, the author of Beyond the Grave and In Too Deep. And I'm Gordon Corman, author of book two, One False Note, and book eight, The Emperor's Code. I think my, my advice is this. We all write from our experiences. And in order to write from your experiences, you have to have experiences. So my advice would be live life. Whatever you're doing, go for it with all of the energy that you have. Notice everything that's happening around you and really participate in it. Get out there and just grab life with all of the energy that you have. And that will feed what you do when you write. Most writers will say read. And that is number one. But it's also really important, I think, to remember that words add up. It's easy to have an idea, but what a lot of aspiring writers have problems doing is finishing something. So set yourself small goals. I wrote my very first book, two pages a day, five days a week, because I was working full time. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be two sentences a day, but words add up into pages, and pages add up to a story. When I look back, it seems to me as if 95% of what I know about writing, I just know from, from doing it. You, you, know, uh, you can practice writing like you would practice being an athlete. Like if you want to play basketball and you can't hit a free throw to save your life, what's the coach going to do? He's going to put you on the line. You're going to take a lot of free throws. You're going to get better. Well, if you want to be a better writer, you write a lot. You try things. You see what works. You see what doesn't work. You make adjustments just like an athlete would, and you will definitely improve. I very much enjoy mysteries. I love mysteries, and I also love historical fiction. And what I especially love is merging genres, and also kind of exploding them a little bit, and really pushing the edges uh, to bring something new to a genre, if I possibly can. Well, I've had a great time writing in a lot of different genres, humor, adventure, uh, historical fiction. 39 Clues, obviously, is unique for its multi-platform and multi-author format. But uh, for me, if I had to pick a total favorite, uh, humor is my first love. And it's just because it's what I love the most as a reader. Uh, my parents tell a story that when I was two years old, way back when my big ambition in life was to be a dog when I grew up, the cartoons on TV that were my favorites were the ones that cracked me up, and I'm still the same way. There's a, a couple of types of stories that I really love writing, and one of them involves being the outsider. And that can be a mystery, it can be historical fiction, it can be any number of different genres, but I'm very attracted to stories where there's a person who just doesn't fit and what this person goes through in, in order to negotiate life. Um, I wrote a book a historical fiction book called Smiler's Bones about the only polar Eskimo in the United States at the turn of the century. That was incredibly interesting to me. What I also like to do is in, in a lot of my stories, in all genres, is try to introduce an ending that seems like it belongs with the story, but you find actually there's something completely that blows it out of the water and there actually is quite a different ending. And, th and that ending the true ending of the story changes what you've read beforehand. Ice cream. Uh, considering the fact that it's 95 degrees outside in New York City and I just got off the subway, my vacation is very much on my mind. Uh, in about three weeks, I'm going away and I can, it's an undisclosed location, but I can tell you that it involves salt water and shellfish. And I, I guess because of the, the time of year, we're all sort of thinking vacations. Uh, my family is going to California in a couple weeks. We are very, very psyched about the trip, but what's really on my mind is three kids on a six-hour flight. <laughs> <laughs> well, in addition to the fact that, that I, I live here, it takes a very, very special occasion to bring together the three of us. And any time the three of us get together, I'm always in it. Um, Gordon and Jude and I, we all live in three different places. Gordon in Long Island and Westchester and me in New York City. But we're here today because of this incredible contest sponsored by uh, Post Serials and Scholastic with the 39 Clues involving this uh, great treasure hunt at the Museum of Natural History. 
And um, we're just really thrilled to be here to greet the families from all around the country who have won the prizes and uh, to present it to them today.